If it wasn't that clear before, now we all can certainly see that our modern society is rapidly crumbling. Every single structure we rely on has proven to be incredibly vulnerable to external disruptions. And with global tensions rising by the day, we must be ready because dark times are coming for us. Corrupt governments are leading the world to the brink of financial ruin, and their reckless monetary policies have set the stage for a brutal economic collapse that has just begun. At the same time, every link of our supply chains is breaking down, and global production continues to decline, widening the imbalance between supply and demand. So as global supplies get increasingly tighter and inflation pushes the price of everything to insane levels, people's purchasing power has never been so compromised. Food prices are going through the roof, while housing and rent prices are making it harder for families to afford a roof over their heads. This is exactly the type of scenario that made empires fall apart and triggered widespread chaos in every corner of the planet. Since our entire system is built like a house of cards and several pieces have already fallen, it's only a matter of time until we witness the end of the world as we know it. This is a chain reaction. And at this point, so much damage has been done that it would take a miracle to reverse this coordinated downfall. If you think our leaders are gonna rescue us from the mess they created, you'll be totally unprepared for what's coming next. Many still don't know that we're headed to an era of food shortages, power cuts, bankruptcies, cyber attacks, and devastating geopolitical conflicts. For that reason, learning primitive skills is just as important now as they were 10,000 years ago. The global economic and societal collapse is accelerating at an alarming pace, but the worst is yet to come. That's why we must do whatever we can to survive the challenges that are fast approaching. So today, we have gathered 30 primitive skills you should learn before the total collapse of our modern civilization. Without further ado, let's check this list. Number one, how to build a fire. One of the skills that changed life on Earth and led to the advance of humanity was knowing how to build a fire. Today, most people have become accustomed to having devices to help them do it effortlessly. Many people have never learned how to start a fire without lighter fuel and a lighter. However, being able to find and collect natural materials to build a fire from scratch is the number one prepper survival skill. It can definitely save lives during an emergency. There are many techniques you can learn, such as the fire bow or fire spindle, but it's very important to practice first to prevent potential accidents. Number two, how to survive a night in the wilderness. The night in the wild can be very dangerous. Darkness, freezing temperatures, bugs, insects, and any potential precipitation or even predators can threaten someone's life. It is an experience many of us have never gone through, but if we want to survive when a disaster hits, we must get out of our comfort zone. Knowing how to start a fire, build or find shelter and scare away human or animal attackers is essential if you ever need to spend a night in the wilderness. Number three, how to use basic tools. Practice makes perfect. So even though some people might have a notion of how to use basic tools like a screwdriver, a saw and a hammer, it's important to step up your game and try to build something with limited resources, such as a piece of furniture or a self-defense tool. You don't need to reach a professional level, but some basic know-how will prepare you to think on your feet 
that gathered the supplies you need and used the tools you have so you can create or fix an object that might be crucial to your survival at some point. Number 4. How to Purify Water The most commonly known way to purify water is to boil it, but that may not always be an option. That's why having a water purifier or small purifying tablets on your bug out bag is always a good idea. Learning how to build a water filter can help you in the long term and it's a skill you can exchange with other preppers for supplies you may need or knowledge they can share with you as well. Number 5. How to create a shelter Building a shelter in a survival scenario is extremely important. For the short term, you can come up with simple solutions, such as using natural materials. But when we think long term, we must create something more sturdy that can keep our supplies protected and traps heat inside. Having a tarp in your bug out bag can help you with that. Sleeping bags must be waterproof and portable. There are many great prepper books that can teach you how to create a safe place to hide using basic tools and simple materials. As always, practicing this skill before you actually need to run and hide will help you to know exactly what to do, what you will need, and how to fix potential problems when the time comes. Number 6. How to make a raised bed these sorts of beds are intended to keep survivalists off the cold ground, protected from predators, and alert in case they need to run. Number 7. How to hunt Perhaps one of the most important prepping skills someone can learn. Hunting is what allowed humanity to survive in times when resources were limited. Meat is the best source of calories in a survival situation. So. Knowing how to make traps, craft, and use a bow and arrow or a knife is crucial to any hunter. Number 8. How to trap animals That's a very time and energy-saving strategy to capture prey. Basic techniques such as the deadfall trap, bird trap, and fish trap can be life-saving as they greatly increase calorific intake in a survival situation. Number 9. How to make a spear. If we're talking about primitive skills, we must consider that we probably won't have modern self defense tools available at all times to keep us safe, so we must learn how to make primitive tools. A spear can help you hunt big prey, and it's also a great weapon for protection against human and animal predators. Number 10. How to make a sling. This small and portable weapon can be used to catch small prey wherever you go. All you need to build it is a piece of wood, a rope, and rocks. Number 11. How to sharpen tools and knives If you're not equipped with a sharpening device in your bug out bag, you need to know how to sharpen your tools using stone or ceramics. That's a very important skill to have because by doing so, you can preserve the longevity of your tools and always have them ready for when you need them. Number 12. How to fish Fish is one of the most complete calorie sources a survivalist can find in nature. That's why having fishing equipment on hand will always be helpful. Don't forget to study the environment you plan to hide in and how to fish during the winter. Number 13. How to Butcher This requires a lot of practice. To use the most out of each prey, you have to learn some different techniques. But even learning some basic butchering techniques can give you a good idea of how to handle the animals you hunted or captured so that you can transform them into your meal. Number 14. How to Preserve Meat in a situation when you cannot have access to electricity and refrigeration, finding ways to preserve your meat for as long as you can is very useful. The two main ways to do that are by slating and smoking it. If you do it right, your meat can last for months. Number 15. How to Cook Outside 
cooking over a fire will not only provide you with a nice and smoky meal, but also kill all potential pathogens in your food. How to cook in the wilderness is the most basic skill every survivalist needs to know. Number 16. How to make distilled alcohol Distilled alcohol can be used in many different ways in a disaster scenario. It can serve as fuel, as a way to sterilize wounds or start fires, and you can also barter for other supplies or even use it to make drinks to consume for enjoyment. Number 17. How to tan animal hides If you're hunting, you might as well learn how to use each element of your prey. Skinning animals can give you material to create clothing, blankets, and external protection for your shelter. But before that, the animal hide must be tanned. The simplest way to do so is by using salt and egg yolks to seal it. Number 18. How to make clothing out of animal hides After tanning the hides, you can stitch them together to create new pieces of clothing, blankets, bags, and many more. Leather is an incredibly resistant material that can last for decades if you take proper care. Number 19. How to sew Don't forget to add a small sewing kit to your emergency bag. You don't want to have torn clothes or sleeping bags during the winter. Learning how to sew will also help you to stitch up any wounds and prevent you from getting an infection. Number 20. How to make medicine Knowing from which plants you can extract substances to heal illnesses and wounds is an ancient skill that can save your life when getting medicine at the store is no longer an option. Number 21. How to make a torch There are many ways to make a torch, but the easiest torch design is formed by a stick with several rags in one end, which has to be soaked in some sort of fuel and lightened up with fire. Number 22. How to manipulate metal This isn't a simple skill, but it's very important and valuable. Fabricating objects with metal can make them more durable and resistant, so preppers should study some basic metal fabrication methods. Number 23. How to weld Welding's going to increase the number of objects that can be created out of metal and allow you to repair your machinery. Number 24. How to forage Identifying edible plants may save you from starvation in an extreme situation. You can start by trying to identify the plants in your surroundings. Many great prepper books can help you with that. Number 25. How to manipulate wood Woodworking is a primitive skill that can allow you to create sturdy structures to improve your quality of life in the wilderness. Number 26. How to make a walking stick The ideal walking stick must be shaped like a Y on one end and a point on the other. It helps you to check the stability of the soil. It can be used as a self-defense tool and as a way to pin animals to the ground. Number 27. How to tie knots Every survivalist should know how to tie basic knots. They will be useful for creating shelters and animal traps. Number 28. How to ride a horse In times when traditional ways of transportation may no longer be available, riding a horse is a skill we all should learn. Number 29. How to calculate directions Knowing the distance between north and south isn't as difficult as most people imagine. In northern areas, moss usually grows on the north side of trees. The inverse is true for southern areas. Number 30. How to calculate the hours Our ancestors used to know the time of the day by placing their hands underneath the sun when they were looking at it and counting how many fingers would fit between the bottom of the sun and the ground. All four fingers mean that one hour is left in the day. Each finger, therefore, represents 15 minutes. Learning and practicing these skills will definitely be very handy to get through the challenging times ahead. 
We must protect ourselves while we still can, because those in positions of power will not be there to save us when things go south. There are many blogs that can guide you through your prepper journey. We would like to give a special shout out to Ask a Prepper, whose writers always share prepping secrets, tips and tricks that we all will need at some point. The world is changing much faster than most of us realize, and we should be paying very close attention to what happens next. So keep tuned to our channel. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up for this video, and please subscribe to always get the latest warnings and the best prepping tips.